Sydney, Australia, one of the world's top tourist destinations. This vibrant city caters for all travellers, whatever their budget. So we sent out four backpackers to find out what the city has to offer those travelling on the cheap. We all met up at the observatory. Over here is Balmain. Luna Park. And then we have the magnificent Sydney Harbour Bridge. It is the biggest signal arts bridge in the world. And then we went up to the Opera House. Some other great activities to do on the cheap in Sydney are to soak up the sun down on the famous Bondi Beach. You could have a go at surfing and there's even a skate park for the more extreme rider. Sydney's also known for its great shopping and with plenty of markets you're sure to find a bargain. One such market is inside the Fringe Bar so if all these activities make you thirsty you can always grab a drink. But don't have too many because there's plenty more to see. We um, walked up to the bridge and we went right up to the lookout point and that was really nice to see out all over Sydney. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. the lookout, lovely. awesome. It's quite, it's quite expensive to cross over the bridge, it's pretty much like the you same view from the tower and it's only like yeah, 950 or something. Pictures. You're allowed to take your camera up there, you're not allowed to take your camera over the bridge, but yeah, no, that, was, that was awesome. Yeah, it was really beautiful, it's worth doing, definitely worth it. And then from there we got the water taxi to Cockatoo Island. It's not too touristy, which is one of the nice things I liked about it. You kind of got away from the hustle and bustle of the city, so to speak. Um, we saw these uh, historic buildings, which were originally prisons and forts, I think. Forts and then prisons, but yeah, uh, that was quite interesting. Because like that comes from our culture as well, like shipping them over 200 years ago. And then the trip over itself on the boat was cool. And then we had a typical Aussie barbecue with shrimps and chicken and onions made with beer. <laughs> Marinated chicken. Yeah. yeah, it was gorgeous, really good. And after that, we got on another boat. So um, we got the ferry over to Manly from um, Circular Quay, which is the main harbour in Sydney. Definitely worth doing. You can make a, you can make a day of it over here. Like it's pretty cool. I think that's a must do if you're in Sydney. Definitely get a ferry because then you're just away from the city and you can just take it pulls all the out pictures. Of Circular Quay, the main harbour, and you can see like the CBD, the Central Business District, and like the zoo. Manly, this place is pretty chilled. I think it's quite upmarket area, like quirky little shops and stuff like that. And yeah, good beach. Yeah, we've got some bikes out. So um, these two got some normal push bike things and um, we decided to get a tandem bike. We literally uh, did manage to wipe out pretty much everyone who was uh, strolling along there. Um, and a dog. There's a beach just around the corner here, um, which is the only beach on the east side of uh, Australia to face west. If that makes sense. Yeah, that does make sense. No, that's yeah. cool. That, I, I, I didn't think I was going to enjoy the bike thing because I'm not really into cycling or anything, but it was just such yeah, a laugh getting one of those double it's bike so things with her. It was so funny, man. <laughs> and there's obviously good views as well. So. so, after a hard day's sightseeing, what was the team's verdict on seeing Sydney on the cheap? Yeah, you can definitely do something on a budget. It is easy. If you're on a budget, you can do it. I think the most expensive thing was doing was like $20, so it's definitely been worth it. But yeah, I really enjoyed it um, from the time, so it's been good. There's so much stuff that the hostel organises, like food in the evenings and yeah. stuff, food and beer, and it's like $6 or something crazy like that. So it's, it really doesn't have to be expensive. Mm -hmm.